Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, continuing the read-along. Let's continue with the Zombie Night Holy Night story. It is now day two of the good old fighting style. And once again, I am going to try... to keep it. Let's see, Lance and Berserker. I want to keep it, um... as close to canon as the game will allow. Let's see... Not a lot of Bradamante friends, i found. See anything here? No Brad friends. I mean, I have my own Bradamante, but then I would have to find a Quetz friend. That's equally as impossible to find. Nando! You're back at it. So let me go back here. Because last time I underestimated this fight and got my ass kicked. I am going to use that. So at least she starts with that. Alright. Let's do it to it, bro. Oh. That's the jam. Santa's killer instinct. Feel the killing groove. Put your back into it. Don't forget the prayer. Imagine there's a real smug bastard with a super punchable face leering down at you. Then go like this. Saint Saint. I call this one Saint Samurai style. Sassin. <laughs> you follow instructions amazingly well. I never thought you would get this far in a single day. You sucked up my teaching like a sponge. I'm a little jealous of how good foundation you knights have. Hi, here, have a towel. Thank you, manager. Ah, there's nothing better than a fluffy towel after working up a good sweat. Gru. I'm kind of wiped out too, boss. Sorry to mask so much of you, Tars Tarisk. I really do appreciate your help. Here, have some water. Stay hydrated. Oh, but don't get too comfortable. You need to stay fierce if you're going to be a good sparring partner. Especially since you're helping me to teach her one of my fighting styles, namely, pacifying raging beasts. Does that mean all those sounds I thought we were coming from Punchy Bag were actually... Time for your second match. Meow. That was sooner than I expected. Bradamante, I've done my best to teach you the fundamentals, but I still have yet to pass on the entirety of my style. So go out there and win, and we'll pick up where we left off. You got it, coach. <laughs> Ole! What? Hmm, <laughs> so nice to have an expert around who still hits back after I surprise them with a plancha. <laughs> so wait to give her she fucking sobbled in and <laughs> fucking decked her for some reason. And now I have even more chances to practice and develop quick counter attacks. I she wish you would stop doing that. It's exhausting. Anyway, you be careful too. You may have retained your combat senses when you get knocked down uh, to being a demigod, but, the, but that alone is not enough to be. That is the what? You got it. I imagine you'll struggle. What did you say? But that alone is not going to be enough. Imagine you'll struggle most against those calculating fighters out there. Gracias. I'll be sure to keep that in mind, yes? I wonder where our opponents for the second match are from. 4-4. Four, four. Oh, I sense some powerful fighting spirit indeed. That one looks like they're up, they'll are up. they be up for a good fight. I can't wait to face them in the ring, yes. Oh gods, my stomach is killing me. The other one is already looks exhausted, I wonder why. Now let's see who will be comp competing in this battle. Do the face reveal. Did someone say battle? I can't smell them. <sighs> looks like I gotta keep breathing for at least another day. This is hell on my poor heart. If we ever do fighting in the Greek team with you know who on it, I'm gonna run while I can. If those two are here, then they must be. Yep, they're representing Troy, meow. I didn't know fighters could represent countries and cities that don't even exist anymore. Oh yeah, Dark Cuckoo's totally cool. Uh, with anything. Shouldn't that have been obvious since Caldea's got its own team? Huh? Is that? Um, excuse me, but the way your weapon shines looks very familiar. That wouldn't be Durandal, would it? Hmm? Oh yeah, I guess so. Though I 
call it Durandana myself. Oh my gosh, then if you're representing Troy, does that mean you're Lord Hector? It's a little weird to be called Lord by a girl I've never met before. Wait, on second thought, I could get used to this. Indeed, I am the one and only Hector of Troy, Missy. Did we know each other back when I was alive or something? I knew it, I'm Bradamante, a knight of the Franks. I've heard all sorts of rumors about you, Lord Hector. One of them says you're Rugario's heroic ancestor. That would mean you're King Charlemagne's and my extension, my ancestor as well. Really? I can't say I know too much about my bloodline after I died, but if that's true, that's quite the coincidence. Even more so since we're meeting for the first time and you are about to fight each other. That's true. Still, there's something I've always wanted to tell you if I ever got the chance. Would you mind if I told you now? Of course not. It's not every day you get to meet your own ancestor, right? Well, I should grab a pen to sign something. Okay, then. Here goes. Take care of your gear, damn it. Huh? I don't mean just... <laughs> and I don't just mean Durandal. This, that goes for your armor, too. Do you have any idea how much trouble we paladins have had to deal with because of your gear? I can't even count all the weirdos we've had to fight. Your shining gear has been the source of so many conflicts. So, so many. That's so. Sorry, I wish I could have helped out more with that, but since I was, you know, dead at the time. Ah. Uh, yes, that's, um, you're right. I'm so sorry, Lord Hector. We just had so much trouble because of that gear, I got a little carried away. Man, you're an earnest one, aren't you? Hmm. Is that what you call the student council president type? Whatever connection those two may have, it's no concern of ours. All that matters is whether or not, who, whether you are weak or strong. Please see that you you look like you could provide me with a proper fight, though. I think we feel the same. You do remind me of a wild animal and its tamer, yes? Still, I may as well ask, why do you want to become the true Santa Claus? Heh, <laughs> as if an answer were not obvious. So I can use the power of Santa to kill him. Gay. Okay. I am told that Santa is a grantor of wishes. I have never w needed or wanted another help. Another man to help. What? Never wanted or... I, nev I have never needed or wanted another's help in making my own wishes come true, for such is the mark of a weakling. But if one were granting wishes, then there would be no issue. None of my tribe could object to using the power in such a way. And so I shall become Santa Claus, and in doing so, I will gain the power to grant my own wish. I will, in essence, be using my Santa Claus as a weapon, much like my beloved mace. Heh heh, soon time will come when the blood that is spilled at this hour of death shall drip in the name of Santa Claus. Not really sure what she's talking about, but I do know she's a singularity focused on her soul obsession as ever. Hmm, usually I wouldn't mind the mix of pure and impure motives like this. But as I, uh, but as I am this year's Santa, I cannot condone using the power for such selfish ends, no. You really think she'll listen to reason? That's, a uh, Really not what this berserker is about, trust me. Uh, this is such a pain. This old man just wants to go home. But someone's gotta keep the reins on her so she doesn't cause even more trouble. Even if it is kind of ironic that the reindeer partner is the one holding the reins. And well, if she does manage to beat his ass black and blue, you won't exactly see me crying. He and Arn aren't really what you call friends, and if he can get, get his without even... If you get his without me having to risk getting my ass kicked, so much the better. Can't say I'm surprised, Lord Hector, but I'm still disappointed that you would think to use Santa Claus's power for your own benefit. As a true holy paladin, I cannot let this stand. Those of us with power have a responsibility to wield it properly, just like we need to take good care of your gear. So all you have personal reasons for fighting today, meow. I'll allow it. Go wild out there. In the red corner, representing Troy, we have the Revengers. In the blue corner, representing Caldea, we have the Quetzal Sisters. And fight! God, this is still so cool. Hey, Revengers. I think they've changed the team names because... Uh, all the team names are supposed to be named based off of Kanikuman characters. That's clearly based off the Avengers. Really, it should be the Defenders, because that's what they were doing, but whatever. Alright, let's see. Who should I take out first? It's Penth, because she's a Berserker. Go here. Mm, let's see, five. I don't want to use that right away, so I won't. 
There we go. Hopefully she can take out Pinth in one hit. She totally can. Tag team maneuver. Tag team back again. Double cock? <laughs> what? Oh, uh, okay. Double cock. Man. Man, Billy, your mom let you have two cocks. Okay, let's see. Mm. Guess I'll go. And hope that uh, in one chain, Quetz can take down Penth. She can, and she will. God, but lovely, lovely woman. The shining beacon of femininity. Femininity? We go here, here, here. I don't think she could be able to take him down, though, because she just, she's type neutral, I think. Never mind, apparently she fucking can. Now, I have to really hope that he doesn't just whoop the shit out of- Damn it, girl. Okay. Let me go this way, cause I could use some more. Some more uh, crit stars. Alright, we should be fine. How dare you give me NP loss? Doesn't matter. And... Boom, boom, boom. That's all she wrote, baby. Ow. Yes, thank you very much. I did defeat three good servants. Thank you. Ba -dum. Bum -ba -dum. Really? Okay. We'll read it here and then we'll call it a video. <laughs> <laughs> it's never not funny to me. I said at the end of the... Uh, you know, I wasn't sure what to make of that at first, but now I get it. You're using that Samba thing to figure out how your opponents will act. I've seen it enough times now to recognize the pattern. <gasps> you son of a bitch. Rawr. Yikes, she's so strong, it's like fighting a raging beast. Raging beast? I understand now, Coach. This is the time for me to use that technique you taught me. One of Lady Martha's many fighting cells, pacifying raging beasts. Okay, assume the stance. Fill my heart with devo devite, devout prayer? Then punch with all my righteousness, saint. God, did she just focus her strength to enhance her attacks? So you have a routine to strengthen your warrior soul in an instant, not unlike the Amazon's roar. Down she goes. Whoa, 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 come on, Queenie, don't tell me you actually lost. Damn, maybe I should have used that secret cologne I had to make her rage up another notch. Ooh, the grease, absolute rampage. Then again, if I had, there's a solid chance I'd have been the first casualty of that breach. Too risky. Your team's division of labor couldn't... Couldn't have been more obvious, no? She's always focused on offense while you're always playing defense. But now that your partner is down for the count, you will find that defense alone cannot win a match. No. Down he goes. They didn't count to three. That's not how wrestling works. Ow, 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 ow. Lord Hector, I just want to check while I can. You wouldn't happen to know where Rugurio has materialized, would you? You don't? Okay, I just had to ask. Foo, your opponents were tough. Our opponents were tough, but we are getting stronger too, yes? Fofo. Good job, let's keep on winning. 
I'm not used to battles like this. This is all nerve-wracking. Nerve-wracking? I think you mean exciting. Lucha Libre is meant to get your muy incompatio of all... By all the dazzling techniques being employed one after another, though of course it's more exciting when you win, yes? Now come on, let us dance a victory, Samba to celebrate in style. Ole! Oh, I was really hoping they were going to show it again. <laughs> <gasps> so they won. Wait, Stimpy, you eat. So they won. Good. This should help keep things interesting. Reminder, I am Hispanic. This is a festival of fighting. Painful fights, bloody fights, intense fights. Fights to the death and more. I want to hear bones breaking, screams of agony, war cries, the sound of battle echoing far and wide. For it is then that the true Santa Claus will be born. A Santa with the power to keep Christmas going forever. Now who is my other half's next opponent? Hehe, <laughs> I see, one of the four strongest teams. Doesn't matter which one wins as long as the battle is fierce. The tournament is a truly wonderful invention. The revolts of one match feed directly into the next. The losers regret to weave together to push the battles ever forward. Heh. <laughs> Be warned, other me. Your next opponents are truly formidable. They are the one of the four heavenly kings. The team that embodies growth better than any other. I look forward to seeing how you fight against them. Stimpy. You idiot. There we go. So what do you so what do you want to do? Should we practice for tomorrow or something? Haha, <laughs> our combination is already perfect. Better to conserve our energy than waste it. Besides, our time will come with much better spent coming up with a flash entrance for our next match. The D C C C laughing technically. Oh, who could it be? Find out next time. Ding! Till next time, everyone. Have a good day. I'll see you next time.